Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Tiny Zoo. I hope you're well, thanks for tuning in today. And today we are going to be working on a penguin habitat. So I've already got started on it, it's going to be in this area just over here. Now what I've done first is just put this arc here of, um, not an arc, an arch I should say, of rock. And the reason I've done this is so that it feels like you're walking from one zone into another. This is a very open area here, it's a bit too big and open for me, um, for what I'm going for in this zoo. So I wanted to sort of enclose it off. So this, this archway works really nicely, so you walk through here and you'll be faced with this lovely penguin enclosure here. So what I'm hoping to do with this enclosure is to have a viewing area in here with an, um, you know sort of a ground level one looking into the water there and then I want to actually build a fake viewing area up above a, a, like a, a platform up high up here where you can look down into the water from above. And then at the back here, there'll be uh, a building with all the, the, the bed inside um, and staff room and that sort of thing. Uh, in fact, there probably won't be facilities in there because I've got facilities in this big building here. So I, I won't put that there, but that, that this is where the entrance will be back here somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, so and then just some basic decoration all around it. Obviously, it's not going to stay as brick. That's just temporary until I work out exactly how I'm going to do all of this. Um, there's going to be a lot of rock work involved and uh, it's it's obviously it's all going to be fake rock, it, you know, in real life it would be all fake so I'm going to try and do my best to make it look artificial. Um, now I found, I've always found these enclosures quite tricky to do. Um, I can never quite work out the water in this game. At the moment it's just about working, um, which is weird because there's actually gaps where the water should be able to leak out, like here, it's all gone a bit weird, so I'm not too sure what's what's happening there really, but for now the water is staying where I want it, and um, we shall have to see what happens. So let me go away and do a bit of building, and I will come back once I've got some more done. Right, I've got a bit more of my structure in place here now. So as you can see, this is what I have in mind. So this is my raised platform. Um, obviously it's all fake, so it's not usable at all, but hopefully it will look really nice. So you've got a nice curved path on this side, then a small viewing area, and then another curved path coming down this side. And then I've got this archway here. So the idea is you can walk inside here. This would all be closed off on each side. And you can stand here. And you can watch your penguins. So that's my theory. Anyway, at the moment it's uh, it's going fine. So I started with the rock work. Um, again, I've gone with this um, this faux rock uh, colour. I've, I've left the colour as it is because I thought it was um, was pretty nice. And obviously this is a big artificial pool, so I've gone with uh, concrete edging to the certainly the bottom and the back. The front and the sides will all be rock. And um, and then this, I'm not too sure how I'm doing this back area yet. Because um, obviously the, the penguins are going to be up at this level and the entrance is at this level. So there may have to be some kind of a ramp up here, I think. Not too sure yet. Um, but I think it's coming along really nicely. I really like how these stairs worked out. I thought this was going to be really complicated and time consuming to make work but actually it was just copy paste move copy paste move twist things around the corner and i think it looks really nice and once i've edged it all with this rock there's going to be rock work obviously just filling all this inside edge and probably all of this outside edge would all be rocks as well connecting back up to this archway i think that will look like a really nice proper staircase that you can use and then i may do uh, some sort of flower bed or something along here. Not sure about that just yet. Um, I did have a thought that maybe I, I will make another one of these platforms on this side over here, but uh, we'll have to see what happens as I move along. Um, yeah, great. Okay, let me let me move on and um, and get some more done, and I'll be right back. Okay, progress has been made. As you can see, I have continued my rock work along the front here. 
and along the back and the side here. I think that looks really nice now actually that staircase. It looks really usable, realistic, certainly not wheelchair friendly but that's not what I'm going for in this zoo. I just want it to look nice. Um, obviously I've just done the same on this side here as well and I've enclosed down the bottom here so you can walk in here. It feels like a little cave uh, where you can come in and watch the penguins swim in. So talking of the penguins, I've put some of these coolers on the back just because they look cool. They don't, uh, they're not actually needed, but um, I think they look really nice. And I put this grate all along the bottom here. I put some of these bubble special effects coming up as well, because um, obviously this is an artificial water pool, so it would have a, a very sophisticated filtration system in it, and that uh, is going to be part of it. I think that looks really nice. That grating, it looks very realistic. And uh, to be fair, you would probably even have more than that in something this size. You'd probably have another one over this side, maybe even another one in the middle, because there's an awful lot of water in this pool. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, now, this back bit is proving to be quite tricky. So I've had to do um, a large flat area and then a slope here where my staff can come in and walk up to the right level. Uh, it's not ideal but it hopefully will get the job done so what I'll do next is actually get some penguins in here so I can start seeing exactly how they can move around um, if, if they can move around um, hopefully it's all, it all works out okay um, but for now that's uh, that's looking really nice I really like this this front bit with the archway here there will be some foliage um, one or two trees maybe somehow put into this rock work um, really make it all uh, all blend in uh, but yeah I'm really happy with how this looks at the front here I think uh, I think it looks very zoo like um, so yeah really happy with that right so let me disappear once more and uh, see what I can do once I've got some penguins in I've had to make some pretty major changes to this enclosure and let me explain why. As you saw when I originally built it, I did the main outside barrier and then I did a barrier along the middle here so that I could fill the water in here. Now what I didn't realise is when you then put the entrance there, the, the enclosure is only classed as this small back area and there's no way of making the, the enclosure include this front area. Now I'm probably just being an idiot but I just I don't understand how you're meant to get the water in the enclosure using barriers without having a barrier that stretches right from that side to that side. I, I just I don't know what I'm doing wrong basically. I've tried doing it with land and that didn't work either so I raised the land up along here and I still couldn't raise the water high enough. Um, basically I've come to the conclusion that I hate the water in this game. I really do. I think it's a terrible system. Um, as, as good as the game is, I just don't think the water works. It really doesn't. It's so overcomplicated just to try and put um, raised water into a habitat. Raised above the land. That's, that's the point I'm making. So what's, what I've had to do is lower it down, which means that when you come in this cave now, the water is below the level. I wanted the water to be up here. And I just could not find any way of doing that. And I, and that's really frustrating because it should be such a simple game mechanic. Um, but there we go. That's that's how the game works. Um, I am probably being stupid. There probably is a way of doing it. I know for a fact there's a way of doing it, but I just can't figure it out. Um, I've, I've even, you know, I've, I've watched other people do it and I've tried to copy the techniques and it just doesn't seem to work on, on this habitat. But anyway, I've made the best of the bad situation. So I've lowered the water and what I've done, I've deepened the water. So I made this a lot lower down here so that I could still get the feeders in at the bottom here. And I've done, obviously I've started a bit of work at the back here. So this is the building. It's gonna be this nice blue wood material. I think that looks really nice. So I'm gonna have my staff door here and then th these small, uh, small holes are perfect for the penguins to go in and out. Because um, that's in real life, this is what they do. They find little crevices in the rocks and they uh, they make their homes in holes. Um, I would like these holes to be even smaller, but obviously the the way the game works, the penguins need a certain amount of space to walk through. So this is as small as I could make them. Um, but I, you know, that's that's fine. I don't mind that. 
Uh, and obviously I've just done a couple of slopes on each side here so that the penguins can get in and out. Although as you can see, they do just dive straight off of here and into the water as well. So that's good. The penguins are happy, that's what matters. I put an extra row of these uh, coolers on here because they just look so cool. And I really, uh, really wanted some more of them on there. Uh, and I did put this uh, this small rock bit on the front here with the, the theory that the penguins can jump up on here and as you're in the cave here you can get really up close to them. Now I've not seen any penguins use this, they can use it if you look at the um, the traversable area they it does say that they can hop up on here and use it but I just haven't seen them do it unfortunately but they can so that's fine I'm happy with that. Um, so as you can see, I'm working on this building at the back. It is going to be a relatively straightforward building. Uh, this wasn't straightforward at the front, so I had to use all sorts of different buildings and pieces to actually get these shapes in here. But I've just about done it in the end. I'm just finishing off the door here. Um, and then I need to kind of hide the, the barrier and, and bring the building further back, cover it all up and get the inside sorted out. So still a bit to go, um, still a lot of uh, foliage work to do as well, um, but it's coming along. Um, but yeah, some pretty major changes that I had to make, unfortunately. But that's uh, that's life. That's uh, that's part of the fun of the game, isn't it? Is is adapting to the uh, situation that you find yourself in. So there we go. I'm gonna move on um, because I'm keen to get this uh, this looking finished. So let me go away again, and I'll be right back. A quick update here. I've just been working on this building at the back. So I've gone with this simple roof. Again, I've kept it flat. I don't like tall roofs in the game. I like these buildings to be relatively small. Generally, you'd only have a tall roof if there was a second floor in the building. And obviously, when you're talking about a habitat building like this, you wouldn't have an upstairs. So uh, it makes sense to keep things relatively low and flat. Uh, I bought it right out here. I liked the idea of having a small. Um, uh, sort of, um, what's that called? Like a, a veranda type area here. Um, put some small frames around these doors. I thought it just looked nice. Just finished them off a bit, made them look a bit smarter. Um, obviously, just done the same with this door. In the end, I actually had to get rid of the fake door that I had in here. For some reason, it didn't allow the staff to walk through, which was a bit strange. Um, but now, at least the um, the staff traversable area does mean that they can just about squeeze through there and actually make it out here to uh, to get to the uh, the food that I've put down out here. This is one of these ice blocks under here. Um, obviously I'll just put some little fountains in. I've got the feeders working in a, and a bubble machine down in there as well. And inside I've just put some of these, um, these bedding pieces down. Some more coolers in here as well. Again, just because they look cool. And one of these uh, mirror um, enrichment items at the end and as you can see my penguins are very happy waddling around and having a swim so yeah they're they're, uh, they're doing well and uh, the habitat is coming along nicely don't know what I'll be doing around the back yet not worried about that for now um, but what I have decided actually is that I am going to do another one of these platforms here um, probably just with one path maybe coming up from here a sloped path up to another platform here I think um, because I just feel like there's not quite enough room to view. So you you know you've got a little bit of space there. You could fit a couple of families there and a, and a couple up there. Um, but I do feel like maybe it'd be nice to be able to watch them from the side here as well. I did have a look at making uh, this barrier here glass or having windows in it, but again, it just wouldn't work. It said it was you know not possible to do it because of the water, or whatever, and. To, Quite frankly, it was stressing me out too much. So <laughs> I'm just going to build another raised platform at the end here. Because I quite like the idea that the penguins feel quite isolated and, and safe down here. And, um, you know, all the people are, are going to be up above kind of looking down on them. Um, so that's where we are now. Oh, look, they see this. So they've, they've topped up their little frozen block of ice there with the fish in. And the penguins love it. There we go. Let's let's leave it on a penguin. Okay, so let me go away. Um, might just be one more update, and uh, and I'll be back in just a minute. Then our penguin habitat is now finished. However, I just wanted to show you something that I did out the front here. Um, so I've put a tall 
building, uh, building, a tall tree in this small courtyard area in the front here. Um, I made this small uh, round planter for it and I think that looks really nice. So I, it's been bothering me this, this area here, it was too big, too open, I wanted something in it and so that's what I've come up with. Um, and I think it looks really nice if you look from the outside, it kind of frames the entrance really nicely up above here, this tall canopy. Um, so yeah, really like that. So I just want to show you that before we move in and uh, let's come over here and towards our sheep habitat. Uh, no, not our sheep. Well, it is our sheep habitat, but it's the penguins that we're talking about. So here you go. So this is our, our view from over here. So you can see the foliage up here. You've got a nice pink tree in the background there, which kind of grabs your eye a bit. And you can see the cave entrance through here, which I thought was really important. I wanted to make sure you could see that from, from this angle. Um, so as you come around the corner over here, you can see over there, you can even see the uh, uh, the TV screen inside that shows a picture of a penguin. So it just lures you over. Um, so as we come through here, you can see I've done a load more foliage and I'll put a few trees. So you've got this lovely big umbrella tree above you here, casts a nice bit of shade down under here. I mean, it reaches right over into this habitat almost. Um, down the side here so this is our entrance to our little walkway so we'll go up there in a second so I've just made this a small planty area here so again a couple of nice trees got this lovely maple tree uh, is that maybe no it's an ornamental cherry isn't it yeah, sorry a cherry blossom tree uh, and then another small one here and lots of just shrubs in here just filling out this area and just um, just your basic door and light under there obviously I don't know what I'm doing further back there just yet um, so if we wander up here, you see I've just put a small, I actually made this a, a planter in here. So I, I just moved the rocks a bit so that it created a, a hole in the middle. I put some soil in there. One of these little plants, I just wanted a little bit of colour on there and then the tree growing out in the middle. I think that looks really nice. Again, just one of these sort of shrubs coming out of the rocks up here just to, uh, just to get some greenery in. And then as you come up here and you look over. That is your view of the penguins. One small bush just in the corner there, nothing special really. Didn't want any more foliage actually inside the enclosure to be honest, didn't, didn't need it. Um, but yeah, I think that's a, it's a really nice looking enclosure. The penguins are happy, they've got a lot of swimming space which is their main activity. So that's uh, that's gotta be their main area there. And then as we come down this way, you've got another one of these lovely umbrella trees in front of you here. Uh, again, just some basic foliage on these rocks here. I don't want too much sticking out, but uh, just one or two pieces. And then we go down in our tunnel. You can see I've put a, a light in here and just a couple of the uh, the media um, TV screens to each side. And then around here, I did what I said I was going to. I, I put another one of these platforms up here so you can stand up on here and look in from the side as well that's a really nice view there so you can really see what's going on and again that's just a, a basic uh, little platform uh, walkway stairway down there and obviously this path will eventually come around here and, and link up with it um, so yeah there we go that is what I've done so far so there'll be a bit more detail over here once I decide what's going beside it um, but I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Uh, thankfully, I, I'm, I've been happy with everything that I've done in the zoo so far. It's, so this one has taken me a, little, a while to do, and obviously I did have to make some pretty big changes about halfway through. Um, but the result was worth it. I think it's it's basically turned out how I wanted. Um, this this was my main thing was getting this raised platform in here. Um, which uh, has turned out really, really nice. And th this is what I'm enjoying about this. It's given me the freedom, not using proper pathways. It's really given me the freedom to be creative with this sort of thing. Because you just couldn't do this in uh, in the zoo using real pathways. It just doesn't work. You don't get these nice intricate looking staircases, which is a real shame. Um, there's, um, oh, excuse me. There's a, there's a new game out called... Um, prehistoric kingdom it's it's something that uh, it's kind of out in uh, it's either alpha or beta at the moment and I, i'm not playing it myself um but i've i've seen a, a few other youtubers playing it at the moment and the pathing system in that game seems much much better than this one because basically people walk 
anywhere that they can. So you don't have to use proper pathways. You can build this sort of staircase and people will walk up it. Now, that lends its own problems because you end up with people walking where you don't want. Um, but I think it just means that you have to be very careful with your barriers um, and fences, which which is great. If you could make something this creative and actually have members of the public walk up there and use it, um, I think it would be fantastic. So I'm hoping in a future patch or, or even a Planet Zoo 2 or I assume Planet Coaster 2 when that comes out, I hope they they change the system so that the, um, the public will actually use uh, custom made pathways um, but we shall see anyway for now that is my penguin enclosure as you can see my zoo is coming along nicely so it's still relatively small but we've already got four animals squeezed into this small area and each one has got really n a really nice enclosure I'm really happy with how they're all looking so please do let me know what you think of my tiny zoo so far uh, let me know if you have any ideas or comments, queries, anything like that. Uh, I will appreciate any feedback. And um, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun with this zoo. I hope you are too. And uh, my next project, I can tell you now, is going to be over in this area. And it's going to be otters. So there we go. A little teaser for my next project. Uh, and until then, uh, I will see you hopefully pretty soon. So thank you and take care. Bye bye.